The United States Mint started producing uncirculated sets in the year 1947, over 75 years ago. Entire span of 77 years, there are only six years that include the jumbo dollar. We call them the Eisenhower mint sets because they're the only mint sets that have that jumbo eight dollar in it. Tonight, all of them for one low price. And that low price is just $99.95, everybody. Every mint set from 1973 through 1978, the only uncirculated sets that contain the jumbo dollar, that Eisenhower dollar, the last large dollar struck for circulation. Now, the Eisenhower dollar did start in 1971, but they did not put them into uncirculated sets until this year, 1973. So there are no uncirculated sets from 72 and 71 with the Ike dollar. That is why this one is special. This package, it contains all six sets with the Eisenhower jumbo dollars. $99.95, you get all six. That's under $17 per set. Now, even if you take these Eisenhower dollars out of these sets and look them up with our competition, right? The Ikes are selling for $184 alone. Just the coins, 73 and 74 Philadelphia and Denver. The Philadelphias will run you $98.50 and the Denvers will run you $85.75. Look at our price, $99.95 for the entire set, and you get them all. Now, here is a bicentennial reverse. So in the year 1975, they started celebrating our bicentennial, and they changed the reverse of the Eisenhower dollar to the Liberty Bell superimposed over the moon. So those 1975 and 1976 sets have a dual date obverse, 1776 to 1976, and this special design celebrating the bicentennial on the reverse. They also change it for the quarter and the half dollar. But speaking of the half dollars, the Eisenhowers aren't the only special coins in this set. The Kennedys are just as important to note as the Eisenhower dollars. If you take the Kennedys, add them up, there's 12 of them, six Philadelphia, six Denver. Those are run you $63.65. They kind of range between $5.25 to $7.50 each. Add them up, it's over $63. So add those two up. The Eisenhower dollars, 184. The uh, Kennedys, 63. Way, way north of $200 already. And here we are at $99.95 for the complete original uncirculated sets, Philadelphia and Denver with the original envelopes. You'll notice the blue stripe on the top and the bottom, those are the Philadelphia coins. And then that red stripe on the top and the bottom, those are the Denver minted coins. So where the Ikes are at 185, the Kennedys are at 63. Those are the break values, we call them the break values. We do not recommend breaking these sets, but it just gives you an idea when you're out comparison shopping where the value is. The value is in with us here tonight at AVC. Even if you look at our competition's set by set price, apples to apples, with them you'll pay over $220. We're over $130 less for the same exact six sets, 1973 through 1978 in original government packaging. 9053058, that's the item number for this one, folks. If you're giving us a call, we love to hear from you. Just pick up the phone, dial 866-518-5933. Mention that item number to uh, one of the representatives. Or you could visit us online via the web. Head on over to avccoins.com and enter 905-3058 into the search bar. Get them all for one low price under $17 per set. Our competition, 1973, $45. They're 1974, almost $40. Almost $35 for the 75 and 76, $34 for the 77, and $34 for the 78. Their, their prices add up to 221. Our price is 99.95. So it is time to join us, everybody. You have the Eisenhower dollars, the last large jumbo dollar struck for circulation. Peace dollar ended in 1935. Eisenhower dollar brought out in 1971, only made in silver for collectors. Uh, remember the blue packs and the brown packs? The first two years, they were only put the unks into the blue packs. They started putting the uncirculated coins into the uncirculated sets, of course, Philadelphia and Denver in the year 1973. So this collection is complete. You're not missing anything. It's the mid sets from 73 to 78. 
you have the bicentennials within this package as well. We're gonna show you that once again. Then 1975, there's the obverse there. Dual date like I referenced, 76 to, uh, 1776 to 1976. The Kennedy half dollar has the new reverse design. But these also have that type one, type two differentiation on the reverse. So type one is the 1975 coins. Since the date on the obverse is the same, the only way you could tell the difference between a 75 and 76 on its own, not in an uncirculated set where the cent, the nickel, the dime have the actual date, but it's on the reverse. That's a type one, the letters are flat. There's a type two, that's a 1976 coin. The letters are a little more sharp, sharper, narrower. Some say they're a little more intricate. That's a 76 type two. So when the coin's by itself, the only way to tell the difference is the lettering on the reverse. But in this set, you have the dates on the other denominations that make it obvious. Tonight, folks, under 100 bucks for all six sets in original government packaging and our competition, well over $200. They're at 221 We're at under $17 a set. I have to put a one-minute clock up, please. These are very, very popular. The Ikes, the last jumbo dollar, they're large, they're 38.1 millimeters, half a century old, everybody. This is like 77 years ago was uh, our span of when the United States started making uncirculated sets, okay? They started in the year 1947, but now we're looking at, we're in the year 2024, and 1973 was over, it was 51 years ago. That first set is 51 years old. Look how beautiful these coins are, they're stunning uncirculated in the original Sullivan, of course, and we don't, imagine, we don't recommend breaking them out. But if you did, you would find those Eisenhowers selling for $184, every Ike in this set. Add them up, $184 is what you'll pay just to get those Ikes. And if you add up the Kennedys, they'll run you about $63. Add those two together, way north of $200. And at $99.95, it just makes sense. Join us. Don't miss this one. We do have to be moving on.